Hey yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and in this video we are here back inside a build a boat once again and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys all of the hidden items that are inside of the stages in build a boat that you guys can unlock and it's super super easy to do so make sure you stay tuned throughout the entire video because we have a lot of really cool and exclusive items you guys can get before they actually go away. Make sure you guys go ahead and like the video and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that way you guys get notified whenever a new video does come out because trust me you don't want to miss out on any build about update secret glitch or even cool little building tutorial in this video i'm going to be showing you guys five hidden items that are hidden in the stages in build about and trust me these items are not ordinary items these things are actually very very rare and they're like very exclusive so you don't want to miss out because these could go away at any time so if you guys haven't got them already stay tuned throughout the entire video and let's go ahead and hop into the first one right now but before we do that i just want you guys to comment down below any roblox avatar ideas if you guys know like a funny item or something like that or like something you guys want me to base my roblox character off of make sure guys go ahead and comment it down below because i do read the comments and i want to know any ideas that you guys have wait what in the world i just joined somebody's game like i joined a public server and this is on my plot what in the world am i looking at what is this what is this guy this is like a million blocks in one block this looks absolutely insane what did i just run in like genuinely i don't know what this thing is but it looks super sick what in the world bro all right so this first one a lot of you guys may know what this is and a lot of you guys probably have no idea so this was first one there is a hidden plushie inside of this stage right here so if you go ahead and you fly into the arcade stage or you get there somehow you want to find the machine with the coin inside of it and you guys can notice that this button right here you can actually click it and play the game so you guys can see when this thing comes around how I click it and it will turn it red well what the goal of this game is is you guys want to get that light right there to be on this one you want to get it in between this red magnet so let's see if I can get it first try here and boom just like that see I was one away it's like an arcade game and basically if you get it in the middle of this you will actually receive a zeg plushie which looks like this thing on my left in my inventory right here this is the zeg plushie and you guys will get one of these from this let me go ahead and try this again here and boom all right there we go I got it but I already unlocked the plushie so uh, I can't really get it again but you guys can see I have one of these things okay this you only get one from doing this you guys may notice inside my inventory I actually have four of them we're gonna hop into how to get the other three later on in the video so make sure you guys stay tuned for that but without further ado let's go ahead and hop into the next stage secret that can get you some pretty cool items um I think Roblox is going down again because build a boat looks like everything is made out of play-doh like this this does not look normal for build a boat and my beard hasn't even loaded into my avatar yet something's not right so this next secret that I'm about to show you guys will also unlock you yet another custom plushie inside of the game so what you want to do is at the top of every hour like for example 1 p.m 2 p.m 3 p.m 4 p.m 5 5 p.m. blah 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 every top of the hour like the first minute of the hour this door right here is going to open up inside of the clock tower stage now inside of this little door right here there is a lever so you can only click on the lever when the door opens and you guys will see what happens it's actually pretty cool so we are approximately one minute away from this thing opening up and as soon as it opens there's going to be a lever we click it we jump down and then the plushie is right there and we can grab it now this is one of the cooler secrets in my opinion because it's honestly super sick what happens you guys can see right here the door opens we can go ahead and click the lever and then boom we are now dropping on the very very bottom and you guys can see dun 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 we are down here and this is where you actually get the fabby plushie so if you just go up to it and get it you'll get it right there and you can see that uh, i got it right there uh, and i already got it unlocked so it's not going to show it on my screen but if you walk up to it you guys will unlock it and it'll also unlock this really really insane room that you can go ahead and explore all right so for this next one you are going to need a cannon wherever you go to get there like if you guys use a plane you're gonna need a cannon on the plane or maybe even the hand cannon works as well so we're gonna fly back towards the end of the stages over there and there's a certain stage that we're gonna go to that'll unlock you yet you can guess it another plushie now guys there's other items in this videos that are not plushies we're just getting into the simpler stuff and then we're gonna di dive deeper into some portals and also some other PvP items that you can unlock as well but anyway what we're going to do 
is I'm going to actually anchor my jet inside the stage so that way it could be just be a little bit easier so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to go like this and anchor just like that you're gonna do this kind of quick because if you don't do it quick then it can make you oof so I'm actually gonna shoot that cannon right there and you can see how it's actually going to unlock that door that is very important step so what you guys want to do from there and oh I just jumped off but you guys can see inside of that door right there hopefully I can zoom in on that there is the worthy one plushie you just want to go up to that door and open it up and you guys will get it and that's where you get the worthy plushie at so so far in this video I've shown you guys how to get the worthy plushie the zeg plushie and also the fabby plushie there's one plushie that is still missing and that is the chill thrill 709 plushie so I'm gonna quickly show you guys how to get that because that one is by far the easiest out of all of them all right so what you guys want to do is end up going to this first waterfall that's near the first stage and you guys want to walk inside of here now it, there's a probably a very 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 small percentage of you guys that don't have this so if you don't have this uh comment down below i'm kind of curious to see anyway what you guys want to do is do yellow red purple blue and then green just like that on the bookshelf you walk inside of here and there it is there's also some items on the shelves here that actually leak towards future updates anyway you can see this is where i actually get the chill thrill 709 plushie now you guys are probably wondering how i have so many of them well i actually got them before this uh, this room there, there was like multiple rooms for this plushie room and you could actually get this multiple times also i got this chill thrill 709 plushie from the chill thrill 709 like toy in real life that you could redeem it for in-game items but anyway without further ado now let's go ahead and hop into some actual like pvp items and also some portals in which you guys can actually unlock inside the stages with some cool secrets so let's go ahead and hop into that right now all right so for this next one that i'm going to show you guys this one is probably the most time consuming out of all of them or actually these next two are pretty time consuming but the rewards on them are super insane so what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to get a boat with cannons on it remember you don't have to be using a plane for this i'm just using it because it's faster so you guys want a boat with cannons all right so then what you guys want to do from there is you guys want to find this stage that is like it looks like the, the stage that i'm flying into it has a bunch of crystals on the inside and this is exactly where you want to go all right you can see maybe is this person doing the same thing i'm not too sure anyway i'm going to go ahead and anchor myself inside of this stage and this is exactly what i want to do so i want to actually take these cannons and start shooting the crystals on the side of the map now when i actually shoot these crystals you'll notice that they will fall off the wall and this is exactly what you want okay there's a huge secret inside of this stage something crazy is about to happen and especially if you guys don't know what this is this is about to blow your mind so we're gonna keep on shooting these crystals here until we reach about i think like 15 of them we have to shoot and you guys will see what starts to happen to our boats okay something crazy is about to happen and i think oh it's happening here it is right now so it starts to connect to us here all these lasers and then we get teleported into this area okay now this area is very very big and i'm gonna briefly go over how to do this so what you guys want to do is you guys want to walk into this little cave here now this cave uh, it could get a little bit confusing when you're actually exploring this because there's so many ways in which you can go and you'll see here in just a second what i'm talking about all right so right here this is where you guys are actually going to bring crystals and you guys are probably thinking like what crystals are you talking about well inside of these portals on the left side and the right side you guys will see it's basically like a portal maze and you have to bring the crystals the three crystals that spawn to those little pillars over there so i'm going to show you guys one as an example and then we're going to hop into the next secret because this does take a little bit of time and it is a little bit hard so you just want to go through some portals until you find them it's a little bit time consuming like i said you just don't you just want to try to get not lost and then you can see the crystal spawn in these rooms right here. You can go ahead and grab them just like this. And then you bring them over to the pillars. It's that easy. Now, this last one that I'm about to show you guys, well, it's a little bit hard to come across. So make sure you guys are joining multiple servers because if you stay in the same server for so long and wait for the stages to, like, you know, refresh and stuff, it's going to take you a very, very long time. So what you guys want to do, my strategy of finding stages that I would like, I usually just get in a jet and I fly straight up. If I don't see the stage that I need well then I just switch games once again and you guys can see the stage that I am looking for is in fact inside of here so what I'm actually going to need for this stage is I am going to need yet another cannon you guessed it so I'm gonna grab a cannon and throw it on my little plane right here and it should be good to go so oh whoopsies come on come on come on oh my gosh 
What is happening? What am I doing? All right, hold up. I gotta get this perfectly in order here. I just gotta go ahead and grab it. All right, so you guys want to go over to this stage that looks like a castle. And what you guys want to do is simply shoot the door right there. If my, oh, my, my cannon missed. So I have to try that again. And oh my gosh, somebody's going through the stage as I'm trying to do this. What in the world? So you want to shoot this left door, but make sure you actually hit it. Unlike me, I completely missed. So I'm gonna go like this, shoot the door, and then boom, you guys will see that this whole secret starts to spawn in. Now, inside of this area, it's basically you just fight a bunch of minions, okay? It'll give you some swords and stuff, and you basically just fight off all of them until, you know, the last one's alive. And you guys can see right here, um, yeah, the, the door will open. I'm gonna see if my cannon will actually do damage to them, but you guys can see right there. Boom. Can I shoot at them? I don't think I can. This is bad. This is very, very bad. Oh my gosh. Wait, they're coming after me. I don't think they can actually see me when I'm on this jet here, but you just want to wipe them out, and that's basically all I have to do. Stay away from me. Oh my gosh, and they just run at you. It's kind of hard to do if you're alone, but if you're doing this with a group of people, this will go by very, very quickly. And when you actually do this, the reward you're going to get from this is something actually really special. You're going to get one of these mounted swords, you're going to get one of these mounted bows, and also the mounted wizard staff. You're going to get all three of these things from doing this, so uh, if if you guys want those items, this is how you're gonna get them. Now, if you guys are wondering how I got those other three Zeg plushies, if you guys actually join this game called Project Zeg, it's made by Skeleton, and basically what you guys want to do is join this game and go through this portal right here, and this portal will end up bringing you to the Project Zeg boss fight, where it's like a boss fight out of build -a -boat. You have to actually win the boss fight in order for you to actually get the plushies. So you guys want to walk into the elevator right here, click the button, and this will take you directly up to the boss fight and you just go and complete the boss and then you join build a boat and you get the four plushies it's literally that easy and it's that simple and you guys can see right here the door is going to open and right inside of here is the boss fight area and that's pretty much it so anyway if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you guys go ahead and drop a big thumbs up and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel with that notification bell turned on so that way you guys get notified whenever a new video does come out and i'll see you all inside the next one peace out and goodbye